Hello everyone, my name is Anais. You're very welcome here to hear this word. This word is very important for every single one of us and we need this word because it will help us to grow and it will keep us from going the wrong way. So the word for us today is the principal thing. And what is the principal thing? It's to get wisdom and to get understanding. How do you get these things? The word of the Lord tells us to just ask God. So most times we don't have things because we ask amiss or we just simply don't ask in clarity exactly what we need. So Father, in Jesus name, we just thank you for this day. We just thank you for this word. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for understanding. We thank you for Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us into all truth. Holy Spirit, take over the words that come out of my mouth in Jesus name. So I bless you all. Thank you for being here. You're blessed for being here because you are receiving the word of God. So the word for us today is the principal thing is to get wisdom. Now, what does the, the word tell us in Hosea 4 and 6 says, my people perish. They're destroyed for lack of knowledge, lack of wisdom. You see, many just go through life. You see, this, this book here has every single thing that you need. Every single thing that you need to live life right. We all fall. We've all messed up. We've all done wrong things. But with obedience and just following and obeying the word of God, you gain wisdom. And understanding and knowledge comes from the word and it directs us into the path of righteousness. So hear the word each day or read the word each day. It's for your benefit and it will help you and help you to mature in the things of the spirit also. So also knowledge is power. You know, read books. Be learned, be teachable, learn things. YouTube is there for anything. You know, educate yourself. Don't be waiting for somebody to do that for you. And that could be something got to do um, with your gifts and talents. You know, if you're called to a certain thing in life, learn about that. If you know that you're great at something, learn more about it. Go to a course, look at a video, be teachable, keep pride away from you. So we don't want to perish anymore. And we don't want to be lazy. Laziness also and stagnation can hold us back from our next level. So keep these things away from you and don't slumber and don't sleep. Keep going forward. In Proverbs 4 and 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all get understanding. Get wisdom. So the word is telling you, get wisdom. Holy Spirit saying, come, let me teach you. When we read the word first without Holy Spirit, you have no clue what you're looking at. But when we ask Holy Spirit, when we get baptized in Holy Spirit, he opens the eyes of your understanding. You begin to understand things. He gives you that knowledge. He gives you the grace to know more. It's like things in life. You'll just know. By the leading of Holy Spirit. So he says get wisdom. It's the principal thing you need it. So for example. He, these are five things. There's so many things that wisdom can do for us. In Proverbs 9 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord. Not being afraid of God. But obeying him. When he tells you not to fornicate. Don't do it. When he tells you not to commit adultery or looking at somebody with lust, don't do it. When he tells you to forgive, forgive. And I can go on. The fear of the Lord. So when you're living your life, even when you're by yourself, you won't do things because you know that God is with you. Because you love him and you have that fear of God. So number two, purity. In James 3 and 17 says, but wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy, good fruits, 
without partiality, without hypocrisy. Living what you read, what you've learned, what you know. It's pure, the wisdom of God. Number three, happiness. Living life joyful, content, knowing that God is with you. Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man or woman who finds wisdom. Number four. It prevents us from doing wrong, from going the wrong way if we obey wisdom, if we obey the word. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But humility, where does humility and humble yourself comes wisdom. So, so many out there today, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't tell me, I know, don't tell me. They don't want correction. They don't want to have someone to, to speak advice to them. I know, I know, I know. That's pride. Pride and stubbornness and rebellion is as what? Witchcraft. Number five, prosperity. Proverbs 19 and 8. The one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. You know, the word of God teaches us how to prosper, how to live the right way. What to do and what not to do. It's just like what can hold back a blessing from you if we simply do the wrong things. If we say the wrong things, if we go the wrong way, if we want to just please our flesh and do what we want to do. So the principal thing today for all of us is get wisdom. Get wisdom. It's the principal thing. Simply ask God. So Father, in Jesus name, I just decree and declare this over your people today. The eyes of their understanding to be enlightened. Show them, God, the right way. I pray for wisdom for your people, more grace for them, Lord. Where there has been storms and turmoil and where they have made the wrong choices and decisions, Lord. That you turn things around for good and that they use wisdom from today on in Jesus Christ's name. And we thank you for the turnarounds. We thank you for this new era. We thank you for the transition, Lord. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us into all truth and grants us wisdom to do what's right and the fear of the Lord to be in our hearts. That there's no hypocrisy in Jesus Christ's name. So I just bless you with that word today and thank you for listening. You are grown in Jesus Christ's name. Have the most wonderful day. Amen.